Is it possible to use the Novel Crafter software to write nonfiction books? That's what I'm going to tackle in this video. And in fact, my most recently published book, The 90 Day Teacher, was completely written inside of Novel Crafter. Hi, I'm Jonathan Milligan, and I'm the author of over 10 books and counting. And I'm going to show you some powerful ways that you can use Novel Crafter. Now, if you're not familiar, with Novel Crafter and what it's all about. Novel Crafter is designed for fiction authors primarily. And that was one of the reasons why I first started exploring this because I'm in the middle of writing my first fiction book. I wrote seven or eight chapters on my own and then I decided to put it into Novel Crafter and be able to capitalize on some of the AI tools some of the story building. So just to jump in here, let me show you a little bit of some of the advantages. So you can create your characters. You can have your characters in here. Amanda's in my story. That's the main character's wife. The main character, Mac, he is the protagonist. And you can have a lot of this information, what the character wants, the physical characteristics, the audience appeal, the personality types, the struggles, the growth journey. This is all helpful information when you're combining AI to your process of creating dialogue around your story. Now, when it comes to AI, just to set it up before I even dig into some of this, I'm a big believer in using your stories, your frameworks, your ideas, your concepts, and then infusing that to where AI acts as a ghostwriter. So when it comes to nonfiction, I typically will create transcripts or I'll use transcripts from talks I've done, videos and courses I've created, or I will just create a transcript based on my own frameworks, methodology, steps, formula. And then I will have the AI tools rewrite it. They'll rewrite my stories, they'll rewrite my frameworks. And so I'm not so much a believer in just generating crap GPT type content where you're just asking it to create chapters from its knowledge database. I believe you need to infuse your own style, your own writing style. And so you'll see a little bit of that here in a second on how I have used chat GPT to deconstruct my own writing voice from actual writing that I've done so that it uses my style and it gets closer to my style. And then I still get in and I do some edits. But this tool is extremely helpful. And you can see here for fiction, it's a no brainer. You got your, your plot structures and your planning that you plan out over here under the right is where you actually write your scenes and all of that. So you can jump in, you can tell it, hey, here's where we are in the story. So in this case, on the subway, Mac, the main character, calculates his finances, realizing his severance will barely cover a few months of expenses. He's on his way home after getting laid off in the story, and he doesn't know how to explain it to his wife, right? So I'm controlling the narrative. I'm the producer of the show, but the novel crafter is allowing me to tap into these different AI tools, depending on which ones that I like, in order to do the writing. Now, my favorite so far, and I've experimented with a lot of these, my favorite right now is Claude 4.1 Opus at the time of this writing. I think it does the best, but Sonnet is good. ChatGPT5 is good. Those are good. I will say it's a little bit more expensive for Opus. And the way that it works, it's a bring your own keys. So if you're familiar with the, not the $20 a month that you pay for ChatGPT account or for Claude, but it's on the kind of more the developer side where you bring your own API key and you, it depends on how much usage, right? So it might cost you 11 cents or two cents or one cent, depending on what you're using for every time you interact with that tool. But even then I have found that my complete book that I wrote here, it's a little over 30,000, about 35,000 words probably cost me a total of maybe 15, 20 bucks to, to rewrite all of my transcripts into the written format. All right, so let's jump back in here. So that's a little bit of how the tool, and again, that's a fast overview, but you got snippets, you can do chat if you wanna chat with your story or your plot in here as well. 
So we're going to back up and let's talk specifically about nonfiction. So I wrote this book, The 90 Day Teacher, and I'm currently in the middle of writing my next book, The 90 Day Speaker. So let's jump into The 90 Day Teacher. Now, you will pretty much fall into this plan category. So one of the first things I like to do is get my plan in place. What is chapter by chapter? And I know this looks like a lot, but chapter by chapter kind of summary of what it is that I want to cover in each chapter. And oftentimes, sometimes this is just from transcripts. So over here, when it comes to the codex, which was the characters in the fiction, now that I'm using it for nonfiction, the character is me. And I'll show you that in just a second. Under snippets is where I will place transcripts. So for example, here's an entire transcript from a video I did on how to do a five-day challenge as a free opt-in. Here's another transcript. Here's a story that I collected about women of NASA and related to Lego. Here's another transcript that I include. And you'll see why in a second how I can infuse those transcripts into the writing portion. All right, so that's snippets. Chats is just a really good place to come here, start a new chat, and you're actually chatting using AI to de further develop your stories or your chapters, things like that. All right, so that's a little bit. You got Codex, which in my case, there's one character, it's me. I'll go ahead and show that to you now. If you jump in here, this is where I am putting all the information about me. Hey, this is what I do, this is my audience, and then I'm also including a little bit of my writing style and more into this here. So this is a little bit more about me, if that makes sense, okay? So I set that up for me, and you'll see why in just a second we'll bring all these pieces together. Okay, so that is basically this left sidebar. I wanna click on this gear icon up here. When you open this up, it's gonna open up the metadata, the writing, the collaboration, and export. So the metadata is pretty simple. What's your title, your author, your series? It's a place for you to upload your book cover right there. Under writing, this is where you're gonna to wanna to make some changes for nonfiction. The first one is writing in present tense, and then writing in second person. Second person is obviously like, you wanna do this, and then you're gonna to wanna to take this step next. And so a lot of nonfiction is written in second person, which is you. Now, when you have an introduction story in a chapter, and it is your own story, you can tell the tool to write in first person, which is gonna use the word I. That's important. But more often than not, majority of your book nonfiction is gonna be written in second person. So we wanna set that up. Okay, present, second person. And then I add my character down here as the main character so that it keeps that in mind. Collaboration, I don't really mess with, I don't really use, okay? So there's one more thing that we're going to want to do, and that is going over down here to prompts. And my video is kind of in the way. You can see it right down here at the bottom. We clicked on prompts. There's a lot that are in here by default. So this general purpose one is the most commonly used one in writing, but it is designed and set up by default. If we come over here to instructions, I clicked on it, came over here to instructions, you will see that it's using, and this is just like a prompt that you would put into ChatGPT or Claude. It says, you are an expert fiction writer. Always keep the following rules in mind. All of these come by default from Novel Writer, and it is more designed for fiction. It does not have by default a nonfiction, but all you need to do is come in here, you actually can copy this one and create a duplicate. So you can see I did that here, and then I named mine nonfiction. Now, mine is you're an expert nonfiction writer. Your goal is to produce natural, engaging, authentic, long-form content that reads like it was written by a human, core writing rules, and a lot of this is my own that I've developed over the last couple of years. By the way, if you want a copy of my nonfiction writing script, I will put a link below and you just click on that link and you can get access to it. This is something that I, my blood, sweat, and tears and constantly retooling it, really trying to pull out all the common 
things that AI does that makes it seem like it's AI written. The moreovers and the therefores, all the in dashes, all the common structural sentences that it typically does, this will help pull all of that out. And it'll sound more natural of a writing style. Again, you can click on that link below and get access to that. So if I'm going too fast here, you'll get, you can get this. Tone and style, do's, don'ts, and all of that. All right, so you're basically gonna plug that in here under instructions. And when you do so, now you're going to be able to start doing the writing process. So let's get in here to, let me back up here and let's go into the speaker. So this 90 day speaker is one that I'm currently writing right now. And it's got a lot of my kind of instructions in here. So I'm just gonna write one as an example. It's not something I'm gonna use, but let's say right here, chapter number seven, this is about why speakers should think about starting a podcast because it's good for them to learn how to practice to speak. So let's, let's jump into the writing portion and we're right here under start a podcast. So this is typically what I would do. I would say, we're gonna continue writing and then you're going to tell it what it is that you want to do. So I'm gonna say something like, create a subtitle about starting a podcast as a great way to get going with speaking. And then talk about the advantages of starting your own podcast as ways to improve your speaking career. Okay, now typically what I would do is I will decide if I'm gonna do 200 words roughly for this, 400 words or 600 words. So we'll stick with 400. Then we need to give it some context. Now the context can be a lot of different things and I'll show you some examples. Context can be take into context my transcript, so it's my own thoughts and methodologies, stories. You can say use the scene, what the goal is for this. You can include the full outline of your book. Whatever you choose as your context is what the novel crafter is going to send to the AI to have as context to send back really good writing. Now, you wanna be careful about giving it too much. If you give it like your full blown book writing, up to this point, it's not gonna perform as well. It's way too much context, it gets more expensive. So let me show you what I actually do at the time of this recording. So what I typically do in this case is I'll go to context. I like grabbing the full outline. Now the full outline is everything I have on the plan side. So it has the context of the full outline. I also like to come down here to codex entries and keep in mind that I am the main character. I'm in this case, even though it's nonfiction, that I'm writing this scene. I'm gonna come down here to scene and I'm gonna actually find this particular scene to include. So this would be right here, scene two, start a podcast. And typically, if I have a transcript, I probably have one in here, but I'll show you how I add these transcripts in just a second, but I basically set them up as snippets. I would find the one related to, might even be this one right here, about speaking opportunities you already have in front of you. So we're gonna add that in there as context as well. So just to show you this, like this over here, if I create a new snippet, I usually like to put TR for transcript, what that is, and then I can either dictate it out right now and put it in there, or I can use a transcript from a video or a YouTube video or a podcast or a course or something like that, right? So I don't have anything on that right now. So then we've got the full context here. We got 400. Now, here's what you have to do. Here you have to choose the AI tool you're gonna to use. By default, it's got the general purpose, which is the fiction one. So we're going to choose nonfiction. And then we have all of these outputs. My favorite right now is this 4.1 opus. Of course, it's always updating, always changing. So let's just see how it does on the first part of this. We're gonna click enter. It's gonna take all of that in context, my transcripts, my thoughts, my ideas, my writing style, and it's going to create roughly 400 words 
that also is in context of my outline and the purpose of my book, right? All right, start a podcast, your personal speaking gem. Think of a podcast as your personal speaking gem. No stage fright, no audience staring back at you, just you and a microphone, the freedom to practice your craft. Starting your own podcast isn't just about another item on your to-do list. It's a strategic move that accelerates your speaking career in ways you might not expect. Now, if I like this, I can just, and it's still finishing here. You can see it's done about 375, 380. It's going about 417 words here, okay? Now, if I don't like this, I can just click on retry and it will retry it. If there's a section I don't like, so maybe I don't like this first paragraph, I can hit rephrase. I can do all of the things to try to have it do something else. If I like it, I can click apply. And now it's in here. And now I'm just going scrolling down until I get to the next section in my chapter. And that's how I would do that. Now, I like to get in here and also change things, get rid of sentences I don't like, add in things, actually typing, yes, actually typing my own thoughts if I feel like something's missing and getting that up. Now, once I'm done, and by the way, if you wanna try out Novel Crafter for free, there's a link in the description below. You can go and check out Novel Crafter. I think it gives you like three weeks of full premium access. You don't even have to put in a credit card to go and play around with this tool and try it out. But once I get it done, I don't publish from an export here. I still like to use Atticus. You can check out my channel, other videos I've done on Atticus and see why I love Atticus because there's a lot more formatting tools. This tool doesn't have a ton of formatting. So I like to export this out. It's pretty simple and easy to do. There's a bunch of ways you can do it. But let's let's take this chapter, let's check a chapter that's more of a draft that's already done. So here you can see I've got 3,000 words for this chapter. If I come over here and I do copy all pros, it's going to get all of that. Now I'm just going to open up a blank doc here so you can see what it's like. And typically what I like to do is just copy and paste this over into Atticus. So now I've got my chapter draft written. And it again, hopefully you're catching the vision of this. This is not, not anybody can create this type of chapter because this is my bridge talk framework where I use the word bridge on how to set up a really good talk. And then notice it's my story. I still remember sitting in the big auditorium at Bible college, notebook open, trying to keep up with Professor Messer as he broke down the art of homiletics. This is my story, right? And this is my framework. So when you have a good talk, you begin with a story and then you reveal the real problem of your talk and then you introduce your method. So all of this is my content. I'm just partnering with AI as a ghostwriter. So there you go. That is the steps. What would you like for me to know that maybe I'd create future videos on this process? I've written one book, working on a second. I'm also working on some fiction books I'm gonna publish next year that are more in the self-help or business fiction category. And I'm really enjoying this tool. It's pretty affordable and it's great. Love it. So let me know below, what do you like? Do you like videos like this? Also take a moment, hit like, subscribe to the channel and even hit the bell notification so you'll be notified the next time that a new video goes live. And also, if you wanna know more about the next step in this process of what I do once I get into Atticus and I do some formatting before I publish, you can check out a video right here and it'll walk you through how I do formatting in Atticus.